Okay, so this is lesson one of our geometry nodes course. Let's switch to geometry nodes right away so that we can hit the ground running. Switch to geometry nodes. Uh, you can see we already have geometry nodes tab here or panel opened here, but uh, we don't really have access to any geometry nodes tree. That's because geometry nodes needs an object uh, for it to be added to. So let's add an object. And uh, this object has to, has to be able to accept modifiers. So geometry nodes will not work on something like an empty because empties don't have or don't accept modifiers. Geometry nodes because itself is a modifier. That's why you see it won't work on empties since they don't accept modifiers. So uh, let me remove that. Select a mesh here and now uh, we have geometry nodes. We have the modifier tab here or properties here. So I can just switch to, I can add a new geometry nodes modifier, which I should find here. And uh, this is the equivalent of just going into the modifier into the uh, geometry nodes uh, workspace or area here and uh, just clicking new, it will add, basically add a modifier, geometry nodes modifier, uh, which will give us a geometry nodes tree. Yeah, like I said, geometry nodes is a modifier itself and uh, it only applies to objects that accept modifiers. And objects that have accept modifiers include meshes, curves, our text should also accept uh, geometry nodes. And uh, you can see if, if the object accepts geometry nodes, it will have the new button active. Say if we add the nabs object, you see they don't really they don't really accept geometry nodes, though they accept modifiers. You rarely find people using uh, nab surfaces anyway, so that doesn't really matter. I'm not sure. So let's stick to meshes and curves since those are what we're going to be using for the most part, and I'm sure that uh, most of you are what is what you're going to be using anyways. So let's add a cube. This is going to hold our modifier or our geometry node modifier. So let's click new, or you can go to the modifier stack and uh, add geometry nodes. Uh, each anyways, any way you do it, or you can, you will get to the same uh, step we are at here. So I'll just either click new here or click new here. And uh, another tree starts with, uh, starts with an, an input and then ends with an output. Now geometry nodes is basically an extension of what you usually do in the viewport. Uh, things like moving things around, uh, rotating, basically editing the mesh by nodes instead of uh, by, uh, other ways, uh, that's convection ways that we have usually been doing. Let's try doing the move, rotate, yes, rotate and scale functions inside geometry nodes. Anything you want to do through the geometry, you have to put in between here. So we want to translate or transform this object. Uh, we should find a transform modifier. Let's say we want to translate or transform this object. There are several ways to do it and uh, you can also uh, set up different nodes to achieve that goal. But uh, what I recommend is always first search, try searching for the operation we want to do. So for example, we want to transform shift A and use the search functions uh, from that menu. And uh, now we can search for transform right here. And uh, this transform node basically is the, the same thing uh, that you'll get with uh, the transform you have here. You can translate objects, you can rotate them, I can even scale them. Yeah, that's something to note.